everyone. Welcome back to U.S. Military Summary. On the battlefield in Ukraine, two main battle tanks, the T-80 and M1 Abrams, are being widely used by participating countries. These are modern tanks that are currently equipped for many armies around the world. With their superior advantages and combat capabilities, both types of tanks are formidable opponents on the battlefield. Therefore, today we will compare these two tanks in detail to find out which one is stronger in the future. But first, take a couple of seconds to follow us. One, production year and cost. When it comes to production year and cost, there are significant differences between the two main battle tanks, T-80 and M1 Abrams. T-80 was produced from 1976 to 1993 at a cost of about 1.8 million US dollars in 1985, while M1 Abrams has been in production since 1980 at a cost of around 8.92 million US dollars in 2020. This clearly shows the advancement of technology and investment value in equipping modern military tanks. However, with a higher cost, M1 Abrams is also evaluated as being equipped with more advanced technologies and capable of fighting more effectively on the battlefield. 2. Design both inside and outside The T-80 has a sleek overall design and uses a gas turbine engine. The vehicle is partially armored and has a turret mounted on the hull allowing for fast movement over any terrain, especially in hilly and mountainous areas. However, the T-80 has a lower level of protection compared to the M1 Abrams as it is not fully armored. The M1 Abrams is larger in size than the T-80 and uses a diesel engine. The vehicle is fully armored with a turret mounted on the hull, providing high levels of protection, especially against heavy weapons. However, Due to its larger size, the M1 Abrams is slower and more difficult to maneuver in difficult terrain. In conclusion, the T-80 and M1 Abrams have different designs that are suitable for different situations and missions. The T-80 is suitable for fast movement over hilly and mountainous terrain, while the M1 Abrams has higher levels of protection and is suitable for combat situations that demand higher levels of protection. 3. Speed and Engine Fuel Consumption The T-80 has a maximum speed of 70 km per hour on flat terrain, equipped with a turbocharged engine with a power output of up to 1,250 horsepower. However, the T-80 has a relatively high fuel consumption, around 250 liters per 100 km. The M1 Abrams has a maximum speed of 67 km per hour on flat terrain, equipped with a diesel engine with a powerful output of up to 1500 horsepower. However, the M1 Abrams even has higher fuel consumption than the T-80, around 350 liters per 100 kilometers. In terms of mobility, the T-80 has a faster speed than the M1 Abrams on hilly terrain and its turbocharged engine allows for more flexible control. However, the M1 Abrams has a more powerful diesel engine and is capable of operating both on rough terrain and flat roads. In summary, the T-80 and M1 Abrams have differences in speed, engine, and fuel consumption. The T-80 has a faster speed and a turbocharged engine, while the M1 Abrams has a more powerful diesel engine. However, both tanks consume a relatively large amount of fuel. 4. Firepower The T-80 is equipped with a 125mm main gun, a 7.62mm machine gun with a range from 2.5 to 4 kilometers, and an automatic fire control system. This system enables the T-80 to engage moving targets on hilly terrain, but its range is not as high as the M1 Abrams. The M1 Abrams, on the other hand, is armed with a 120mm main gun, 7.62mm and 12.7mm machine guns, with a range from 4.2 kilometers to 4.5 kilometers. Its automatic fire control system is also more advanced, with a radar system that can measure distance and locate targets. This makes the M1 Abrams capable of engaging targets at longer ranges than the T-80. In summary, the M1 Abrams is considered to have a more advanced firepower system than the T-80. The M1 Abrams has a more powerful main gun and machine guns, with a longer range, and is supported by a radar system for distance measurement and target location. 
However, the evaluation of combat capabilities also depends on the ability of the soldiers to locate and engage targets. 5. Armor System T-80 uses steel armor plates, providing protection against bullets and smaller anti-tank missiles. However, it is not able to withstand heavy anti-tank weapons. M1 Abrams, on the other hand, uses a combination of steel armor plates and depleted uranium layers, as well as carbon fiber, providing better protection against a wide range of threats, including RPGs and other heavy anti-tank weapons. The armor system of M1 Abrams is considered one of the best among modern tanks. In summary, M1 Abrams has a stronger armor system than T-80 and can withstand heavy anti-tank weapons such as RPGs. However, the armor system of T-80 also provides good protection against bullets and smaller anti-tank missiles. 6. Maintenance and Logistics The T-80 requires experienced technicians to perform maintenance and repair on the tank. However, the cost of maintenance and repair is lower compared to the M1 Abrams. Therefore, the T-80 is suitable for countries with limited budgets and seeking cost-effective strategic solutions. The M1 Abrams is designed for easy maintenance and repair, thanks to the use of easily replaceable components and modular design. However, the cost of maintenance and repair for the M1 Abrams is higher compared to the T-80. In conclusion, the comparison between T-80 and M1 Abrams has shown the advantages and disadvantages of each type of tank. T-80 has a faster speed and lower cost compared to M1 Abrams, but the interior and exterior design is not well developed and the armor cannot withstand heavy weapons. On the other hand, M1 Abrams has a stronger armor system, a better developed firepower and fire control system, and can locate targets more effectively. However, the investment cost for the M1 Abrams is higher and the speed is not as fast as T-80. Therefore, the choice between T-80 and M1 Abrams depends on factors such as purpose of use, budget, terrain, and strategy. If the purpose is to move quickly and save costs, T-80 may be a more suitable option. On the other hand, if the purpose is to fight in an environment with many dangers and requires the ability to locate and effectively destroy targets, M1 Abrams may be a better choice. That concludes the comparison between the two tank models, T-80 and M1 Abrams. We hope that the information in this video has provided you with an overview of the technical characteristics of these two tanks. If you find this video helpful and want to stay up to date with the latest information on technology and science, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.